stock rank or rank procedure so as per the official documentation the rank procedure computes rank for one or more numeric variables across the observations of a sas data set and write the ranks to a new sas data set proc rank by default does not produce any printed output so the point which needs to be noted over here is proc rank does not pro produce any printed output and it is applicable only on numeric variables rest i'll explain as we progress by default not by default i mean these are the be actual syntax this is the actual syntax which is available for proc rank it might look scary so that's why we have simplified it for you here now this is how the prank proc rank can be written okay so here if you see first we start with proc rank and then we put the data clause and then we need to provide the input table then output table in which you want to produce the output like it says that it doesn't pr produce the printed output so that's why you have to give a output table name over here usually procedures creates the printed output right any processor but over here it doesn't do that right so if you don't give a table name then it will give a default table name so that's why we it is always better to provide an output table name then in the variable column you need to provide that variable or those variables basis on which you want to create the ranking for example if you have the list of students and their scores and you want to create the ranking basis on their scores then here you're gonna say r score and if you want to also include their height then you can say score and height both of those two variables you can supply over here now this argument helps you to create a new variable in which you want to produce the output and then run and then you can just execute the code so this was the variable where uh, this is the clause where you need to put the variable basis on which you want to create the ranking and this is the uh, argument where you want to give where you need to give the variable name in which you want to produce the ranking okay now let's say this is the sample data set this is the sample data set which we will be using here we have the roll number of each of the students their their gender and the height now we want to generate the ranking basis on their height so what is the syntax that we're going to use this is the actual syntax and we will rip we will put our values into this syntax so if you see over here this is the input data set name this is output data set this is the variable basis on which i want to create the ranking and this will be the variable in which i would like to produce the rank okay so after gen after executing this patch of code this is the output which we're gonna get now if you notice over here this is the ranking which has been created if you see one has been given to the student who has list height and seven which is maximum has been given to the student who has maximum height okay this is the default ranking you can reverse it we will see it in the practical example okay now here i am creating a sample data set all right it's the same which we were just looking at okay so if you see it is the same thing now i will just write the same syntax quickly proc rank data testing and the output which i want to say is testing ranked okay and then variable on which i want to create the ranking is height and then the variable in which i want to produce the ranking will be height ranked okay and then let's say run and i will just print this proc print data equals to testing ranked for you it's not necessary to print the data because in practical life it might be used data set right so it's not necessary to print that data okay here i have sample data that's why i'm just printing it hmm? for the ease of understanding okay so this is uh, just let me make one small change over here here we have same height twice so what i'll do is i'll just say 5.5 which i'll just explain you hmm? now if you look at this 
over here so here it has created the ranking same as we just saw on the board okay now here the list height has the list ranking i mean number one ranking and the maximum height has the latest i mean the highest ranking okay now in this scenario it might fit but some of the time you might like to you know give the ranking number one to the student who has maximum height let's say if you have the score variable over here then in that scenario you would like to say rank you would like to give rank one to the student who is scoring maximum number okay so in that case you can just reverse this thing how can you do that for that all that you need to do is just say descending over here and then just execute it now if you see over here the student who has maximum height gets the gets the first ranking and the one who has least height gets the latest ranking okay i mean the last rank okay so this is how you can arrange the ranking in descending order by default it uh, gives the other way now if you want you can just arrange that you might have noticed that it is looking hazy and difficult to understand uh, you literally have to find the minimum value and maximum value then you need to understand if you want you can before using the proc rank you can sort this data right the input data though it is not necessary but for ease of understanding you can do that okay so here testing i will just sort that by height all right and then i will just run this all right now here i'm just going to execute this now you have the height sorted and it is easy for you to understand this okay so i just wanted to show you how you can arrange this thing but for now i will uh, okay so let's keep it sorted for now now to explain another part there could be a scenario where you might get to a student with same height so how is that going to give a ranking to those students who have same rank let's see what is the thing which it gives so if you see over here this is the list height 3.5 is the list height which has number one ranking 6.5 is the maximum height has the highest ranking okay now if you see over here roll number 12 and 11 both of them have height six feet and they got the ranking 5.5 5.5 why is that so let's let's understand that so here i have placed that data to explain you for example just ignore this ranking variable then in normal case how the ranking will be given this is like one two three four five six and seven but there comes a question when both of these two students have same height how can you give a different ranking to both of these two okay ideally that's not a good thing right you should give a same ranking to both of these two students so that's where sas use a default method which is called mean ranking right it finds the mean and then mean or average you can say and then assigns the same mean to both of these students how is that going to happen so it will pick the default ranking assigned to both of these two students right so by default it will give five and six and it will add both of them divide it by number of students who has same height and then all that you get is 5.5 that's how sas assigns this particular ranking this type of ranking hope this is clear now by default it uses mean to assign the ranking for to those students who has same height right or same value here in our context it is a height it could be different right so at the same time but but many of the time you might not like to use the mean as ranking right you might you uh, you might wish to say five to give ranking five to both of these two students in that case it will become six or maybe you want to say seven to the seventh to this right and it could be the other way you want to you might like to say ranking six to both of these two students and seven to this or you can say same rank five 
uh, ranking five to both of these two students right minimum one to both of these two students and the next one you can say six right so for that it provides you the option which is called ties and in that you can assign any one of these statistical method by default it is mean so mean we have just seen we will just try low high and dense so dense in dense it what it, it will do is it will just assign the minimum ranking to both to all of the students who has same height and to the next student it will give plus one it will just do plus one so in this case what it will do is it will say five five and over here it will give six i'll explain you that let's well so here we are back in our sas and i'll just use ties and i would say low okay and let's run this so now you can see that it is giving rank 5 to both of the students who has height 6 feet now i'll just change it to high okay and let's run this here you go here you see both of these two students have high ranking 6 so this is how you can choose whatever you want right and then over here what you're gonna do is you would just say dense and let's run this so what is happening in dense if you see it is using the lowest ranking for the common is uh, for the students who has common height same height and to the next student it is just adding one means the new ranking is assigned to the next student hmm? so this is how dense option works over here all right so this was the option ties and for now i'm just going to explain you another concept that's why i just removed it if you want you can just keep that also let's keep that okay ties equals to dense and for over here what i would show you is here you just saw, saw the ranking one is given to all of the students i mean it, this is decided basis on all of the students what if you want to find the ranking basis on gender right who has the highest ranking in female and who has the highest ranking in male what if you want to do it like that so for that sas provides you the option called by in by statement you can just say you can just give the variable basis on which you want to group it right so here we want to use gender and just execute this now if you see over here here it is giving the ranking 1 to male who has height 5.3 and ranking 1 to female who has height 3.5 and ranking 3 to female who has height 5 that which is maximum in female category and 6.5 has the highest ranking which is maximum in male category so this is how you can use the group by option as well sorry by option to group uh, the ranking